Okay, let's talk. Uh, and in the end of this session, I will uh, show you a short demonstration about how to run Docker in uh, Apache Cloud Stack. Okay, so uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm uh, Komitona, and today I will talk. Uh, my try to uh, make a short implementation uh, using Docker to Apache Cloud Stack as a new hypervisor. Uh, my talk is about uh, a short uh, introduction about Docker, but uh, how many of you know about the Docker? Many, so I will not talk any uh, uh, not talk too much about the introduction. I will talk a little bit of why is so magic and uh, about the Docker implementation in OpenStack. And so what should I do with CloudStack? And uh, an example from Apache Stratos. Okay, so you know, you know that Docker will uh, provision the container, so container different with the uh, VM. You can see in the, the picture that VM have already the separate guest OS and uh, binary uh, libraries and uh, application, but container is also isolated but share OS. And uh, you maybe share uh, binary and library, so it's definitely faster uh, must lead over his is immigration and faster uh, provision. So the most important thing that I see in Docker is, is the lightweight. Um, you see that container, mm, for my reason, is it shared the uh, host OS and shared the binary and library, so it's very lightweight. Uh, and I give a short uh, the basic of Docker system, there are several ways that you can uh, build up a container. Uh, you can uh, build from the Docker files. It, it is a famous feature from Docker. And you can uh, pull and pull from the Docker repository. Uh, and it's quite good in, uh, in the term of you get only different from uh, between the two uh, the container. For example, you have one base container image and you have some chain to build the container A, accept some another chain to build the container B, so push to the repository, right? So when you run container A and you're willing to pull the container B, you just, you just guess only the different. It looks like uh, Git, right? And. Um, Talk about the uh, implementation of Docker uh, in OpenStack. Here you can see that that uh, is the what OpenStack do with the Docker. Actually, they build the Docker vs API, uh, Docker vs driver, and then um, from Nova, uh, call the command to the Docker driver, and they send the HTTP request to uh, Docker service to provision the container, and uh, they also implement the, uh, the private repository to store the, the image, and they synchronize with the client. So look inside the implementation uh, in OpenStack. It's just only some simple uh, Python files. It named client, the PIs, and uh, drivers as PI. And uh, they use, uh, Client.pi is the Docker client to call, uh, to, to make HTTP requests to, uh, to Docker services. Uh, it's your API version for 1.4, some uh, basic uh, function, list, create, start, stop, container, get, inspect, image, and put, pull from repository. And driver is actually the Docker uh, the driver, you can see, in yes. Um, a function for provisioning and snapshot the instant setup network is very uh, important um, component in uh, when you implement Docker, you have to set up the network because that um, when you do integration, 
for example, OpenStack or CloudStack already have a network orchestration, and the Docker already have a network orchestration. And when you come by, you will get conflict. So, okay, so I will talk uh, further in CloudStack implementation. Um, Yeah. How do you think that it should be a, a better combination, right? Uh, what should I do? I implement uh, the same way with the OpenStack, but uh, some mm, interesting in I uh, implement the virtual router as a, a container for network orchestrations uh, and network services. It also have a Docker resource, uh, and a, a slice appear uh, in here is the uh, Docker HTTP request to request the, the Docker uh, services. And um, one thing you have to config in Agent Manager is you update the Agent uh, property files. You have to. Uh, figure out the uh, hyper hypervisor type Docker, and the result is automatically updated for use. Um, to register templates in CloudStack, I uh, I use three way. You see that we can uh, register a template from a repository remix or Docker file or a, a tar file, tar bone. Yeah, it is in network orchestration that I, uh, when integrate Docker to uh, as a new hypervisor in CloudStack, I disable the uh, network orchestration from the Docker. That's why I spend the container in a networkless mode, and uh, uh, CloudStack already have IP address allocator. You know that, and uh, network services. Uh, will be done from the virtual router container, and I use my pretty good uh, uh, script named PyWork to uh, plug the container to uh, uh, some brick and allocate the IP address. Here is the uh, more detail about the Docker HTTP request from. Uh, Docker hypervisor host, you have to run the Docker services uh, listening on some uh, specific uh, TCP port. For example, I use 555 and um, in the uh, Docker client, here you uh, specify the URLs and uh, create the Docker client. For example, for list or inspect, uh, inspect image, and uh, for uh, provisioning container, or you can build from the Docker files, or you can upload from the tab file. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this work uh, very stressful for me. It's a ton of trick. When I adding the Docker as new hypervisor to CloudStack, first of all, I create a new plugin named uh, Hypervisor Docker. Had to write the Docker resource, Docker gurus, no server discoverer. I have to write uh, Docker HTTP request and update some CloudStack setup uh, agent file. I use uh, the same way with KVM hypervisor. Uh, and make some change to agent, agent cell, and agent manager. <coughs> yeah, Docker resource uh, is exactly is the Docker driver, and Guru, Docker Guru, have you to set up container parameter for uh, provisioning, and uh, discoverer he, uh, takes responsibility to discover and register host to agent manager. Um, Many uh, small, uh, I mean that ton of trick I have uh, when I uh, write the Docker server discoverer is the connection checking and how checking from agent manager. Yeah, and um, 
this uh, script named Cloud Setup Agent is the for config services on Docker host. For example, config network, config uh, security policy, or firewall, um, and start Docker agent service. Um, agent manager, agent sell, and agent to contact to host, and uh, uh, takes responsibility to sending command, uh, health checking, and connection checking. Yeah, before I, uh, talking to an uh, example from Stratos with Docker, I will show you a short demonstration. Okay, let's see. I need to a uh, little bit uh, preparation. Uh, any question you want to ask me? Or leave it behind? Sorry? Is this committed in 4.3? Uh, no. For future version, I mean, for example, 4.5. So it's under, it's under the development. Yeah, so it's under the development. Okay. So there's a branch <coughs> called Docker integration, Docker dash integration. So that's why it's developing it, but there are lots of issues. Right. Mm. Okay. If it ever completes, then we call it. Yeah. So we have the my compi my laptop uh, corrupt, so I have to rebuild the environment. Authentication? Yeah. Actually not. I've done, I've done uh, uh, corrupt, so. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Actually, um, when you uh, provision a Docker container in Kahatech, uh, for the first time, uh, Docker hypervisor pulled the image from the re public repository. And to save time, I uh, already pulled some image. Bring it up, uh, uh, for example, CentOS container. Okay, so let's see. It's okay? Yeah. So I will uh, add the... Uh, I cannot... How to uh, fit the window side? Or maybe I will full screen? Okay. No. Ah, it's okay now. Okay, so I will add uh, one event zone. For example, we name it this and uh, make a fake uh, unit. Oh. And I choose the, here the, the hypervisor in Docker. It's a new hypervisor. No need uh, the gas uh, gas network at that time. Uh, I use a VLAN for installation. And I switch uh, the gateway in my host only. Network interface. Actually, it is the not the complete version. Uh, I have some uh, bug with network orchestration, so I proceed to know I remove out the, the network orchestration. Just uh, bring it up the Docker container with the default network interface. and uh, the hypervisor Docker host. Yeah. Before that, mm, uh, we pull the uh, image from the repository, so we don't need uh, primary primary storage or secondary storage anymore. And also, we don't need two system VM, uh, secondary system VM, uh, uh, secondary storage VM, and console per VM. We don't need so. I skip. This uh, and this launching. Take a look in. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. It's the starting version at that time. Also a single host if you have any more cut than that one. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. Maybe it's, I forgot to. Ah, okay. Cool. Yeah, it worked pretty well. I think halfway is uh, actually uh, you call to cloud start cloud setup agent uh, script and it bring it up the Docker service for you and uh, register the host to agent manager uh, through the agent cell call. Okay, and you will see that uh, we have one host right with hypervisor in Docker. And uh, to uh, deploy uh, one uh, a Docker container, I will request an image. Uh, image I request uh, is from the public repository, but I pulled it down already for you to save time. Uh, I use the URL parameter for the image name, and you can choose to uh, <coughs> Upload a release template from a repository image or from a Docker file to build and from a tar file, Tarborn file, right? I show this and uh, okay, send us. This is the last tip, send us image. And actually, I have to uh, figure out one network, but uh, it not work right now because uh, I have some stuff with uh, building the virtual router image. Okay. So choose from ten the templates where I already up register. Uh, you can name is sensor docker, right? And launch. It's really, really fast, right? It's quite running. And uh, you can uh, inspect the information. Uh, PS. Here you are. The container, right? And uh, you can. Uh, okay. Inspect uh, from uh, API. Oh. Five five five. V one not ten. Container reason. Here you are. And uh, is the the default IP address that Docker service uh, allocate to the container, and you can ping from the Docker hypervisor host. Oh, it run to you. That's all. Great. Yeah. And um, actually, I would like to give you an example for uh, running Docker in uh, PAS solution. I picked Apache Stratos in, uh, okay, time out, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so very quickly that I have, uh, uh, currently uh, there are two ways to integrate in Docker to uh, PAS solution uh, Stratos. You can uh, provision the, the uh, Stratos have a concept that uh, cartridge, cartridge is the, is the uh, container or is the uh, image that uh, application can deploy on. And so Stratos can uh, provision the Docker container through the jcloud uh, via uh, cloud stack or open stack, but it's quite a uh, waste of time and waste of resources. I prefer the this way can support Docker directly from the cloud. And uh, 
we are working for support uh, Docker to JCloud directly. No need any IIS provider in the in the middle later. It should be a, a perfect way, right? And thank you.